So let me see if I understand this. Because Alex is connected with his brother, and we need his brother dipped in chocolate and nuts. <laughs> yes, that's great. <laughs> you realize that taste sounds delicious. So let me see if I understand this. Because Matt thinks this is fun, <laughs> that his brother is missing and is going to be dipped in chocolate and nuts. And then yes. killed and eaten. <laughs> That's the Charlie and Nuts part. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Diaries. Well, it's July the third. Tomorrow is Independence Day. Hoot, hoot. And uh, I just I got a dirty spot right there. I just now noticed. And uh, on Independence Day, I have less than nothing going on. So I'm gonna do some work on the. Uh, uh, Adventureland Porch. I love saying that as opposed to Pirate's Porch. And it's just because it's nostalgia, you know. I love the fact that I had an Adventureland Porch. I enjoyed it so much. I loved my Pirate's Porch, but it was not something that I could actually use on a regular basis. It was just something to look at. Adventureland Porch got used a lot. Now, I've been deciding how I'm going to work it out. As you know, you saw the last episode. And I really don't want to move that big ass planter that's on the on the ground over there that's made out of the bricks that everything's coming out of. So I'm trying to decide if I want to put the awning back up. I'm I don't know if I can. I'm thinking just kind of like a little like a TV tray, but make you know a bench type thing, um, and then maybe put some canvas up along the walls, maybe along the ceiling, and make the whole thing kind of an overhang. Um, but one thing I absolutely have to do is I have to take the mast apart <laughs> and uh, put the speaker back where it used to be, or actually back on the pole it used to be on, and then I'm going to keep it on this side. It was on that side before, so when you went out the door and you sat in the um, under the awning, the speaker was down at the other end. So I'm going to have the speaker right next to the opening of that area to where it goes out to the planter and all the plants out there. And I have to move the um, thing that was the ship deck back to the other side against the fence so I can put all the greenery up there because that's where most of it's going to go. So, uh, Right now, we need thing, uh, we need, we need thing, say, demon lantern. I don't know what I was about to say. Oh no, I do know what I was about to say, but then I realized, I just said that like three times, I don't need to say it again. So, without any more ado, oh, let's get going. I thought I would just take a moment of your time to give you the benefits of being a subscriber to Darkside Diaries. One, it is absolutely free. Doesn't cost you a dad blasted thing. There's no Patreon page. I don't have sponsor commercials. It doesn't cost you anything. Now YouTube might throw commercials in because YouTube throws commercials into everything. But I don't. So it is absolutely free. You are not paying for me to go out and look at sideshow attractions or go to, you know, amusement parks or theme parks and tell you about it. I do that for free. So it is a very inexpensive thing to do. Two, you don't have to worry about missing an episode because my episodes only come out about every two weeks. Sometimes two and a half. Sometimes they're even earlier, but, <clears throat> yeah, not often. Three, the episodes are kind of stupid because it's just mindless entertainment for you and it's entertainment for me and it keeps us both happy. 
four. I don't do politics, I don't do religion, and I don't do conspiracies. Even movie conspiracies. <laughs> I stay away from all that. This is just a channel of stuff. Some of it's stuff, some of it's nothing. Sometimes I'm talking to you the whole time, sometimes we're out doing things. And then finally, it's a fun channel. I hope you think so, anyway. So, subscribe to Dark Side Diaries. And my bird even agrees. And when my bird agrees, you know that's a, that's a good thing. Except he's not over that shoulder, he's over that one. Anyway. So, uh, subscribe. Hit the bell button so you'll know when new episodes come out because they don't come out on a regular basis. Make a comment. Make a like. I don't care if you make a dislike. I just want to know people are enjoying Dark Slate Diaries. That's my commercial. And that's the only one you're going to get. For now. Well, at the moment, I don't remember where I put <laughs> the speaker. However, I have two of them. So I may have to do the other one and make it look like the first one which was a lot of work, but it was fun. But that doesn't change one thing. It doesn't change at all of the things that it doesn't change of the one thing, and that's this. This has to come down so this can come off, so the speaker can go on, and I can turn it around. However, that being said somewhat sloppily, I don't recall if I merely tied this in place or if I glued it in place and then tied it. Hummingbirds have been busy on this thing. That's going to be square. It's a magic trick. And yet it still is up there. Well, if there's one thing I can be proud of, of the pirate porch, is the fact that I didn't use any glue on the rigging. I put it all together by tying it up. A lot of bowling. A couple of bowling on the bike, but that's about it. will get used. All right. Did I put a nail in there? How did I fasten that in there? I think it's the only thing that I glued. I used a wooden dowel. Oh, I impressed myself. Not a heck of a lot I can do right at the moment. See, the thing is, this one has been so dead blasted hot around here that I haven't come out here to work on this except in the early evening, which it is right now. And it's still bloody hot out here. Tomorrow is a work day, but I don't go into work till 6 in the evening. So I'm going to try to get more of this area cleaned up so I can start rebuilding it. And I'm just noticing that one of my trees, all the branches that stick out over the fence, they're all just about bare. And uh, I'll need to fix that too. 
but everything that I'm doing right now I have to do on a budget of zero dollars. So fortunately I have a lot left over from the original Adventureland Forge. And I think I'm going to use the lighting. I think I might use it from above rather than from below. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I've got to look at this thing and untangle it and see how much room I actually have for it. So, yeah, not bad. Not bad progress. Now, a long time ago, I said I was going to do a the kitchen and, uh, you know, like Main Street General Store or something like that. Well, that's not going to happen. So I have two rooms that I can use the pirate stuff in. Now, right now, the bathroom is set up for um, Bioshock. And it's been like that since Dark Slade Manor was in a different location. So I might pull the Bioshock out, put the pirate stuff in the bathroom, or I'll put the pirate stuff in the kitchen. And then the other room that's left, I'm um, kind of <coughs> kind of spitballing here. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but uh, at least I have a location for the pirate stuff. Now, obviously, the skeleton... <laughs> It's not going to go in that one of those rooms. I'm going to use it for Halloween. And I have a couple of, uh, I have an animatronic for Halloween I didn't use last year. That I can now use actually out there on the Adventureland porch once it gets going. So uh, there's a lot of routes to go here. And um, I'm kind of kind of happy with where I'm at right now. It felt good. And I'll tell you something. It's a this morning when I woke up I didn't want to do anything I felt miserable it's the 4th of July you know and I'm here alone on the 4th of July like I am on a lot of holidays but generally it doesn't bother me today I don't know I think it's because I need to get away for a day or two um, and yeah, get away from Dark Slade Manor and get away from everything that <laughs> I work on and just have a day somewhere up in the big tree area, which is not too far from here, you know, less than 20 minutes away and you're in big trees. And just spend the day, oh, you know what I could have done today? I could have gone out. No, I couldn't have because they're closed. At least the main part is closed at the... Uh, Railroad Park. I mean, the park is open, but uh, I don't know. Maybe they're running a train today. What time is it, anyway? Yeah, it's too late. But, um, you know, there's a lot of things that I could do that don't cost any money. The Railroad Park's a thing that I can do that doesn't cost any money, unless I want to get an ice cream, because they have thrifty ice cream out there, which is amazing, or something. Um, but I just, I just wanted to not be here. I wanted to be totally gone and it didn't happen either. But that being said, after I made my lunch, which was below standards, I mean today was not a happy day for me after the a little while ago, but after I did that and I started doing stuff, my attitude definitely improved. And once I got the curtains open, because it took me forever to open the curtains today, or the slats, whatever, and I had some daylight in here, I started to feel better. So I think that theory may be, uh, may be a workable one. <sighs> Just need to, I need to be busy. I do need a vacation. I don't know how I'm going to get one this year. I have absolutely do not have the money to do it. Um, but, you know, I'll think of something. It just, today, uh, no, actually, yesterday, I paid my rent, which left me a dollar sixty in my checking account. So I had to use, uh, I have a program that lets me take money out of my paycheck, my, you know, upcoming paycheck, and put it into my bank account. So I had to do a little of that. And uh, things like that just don't make me a happy camper. Makes me a crappy hamper, as a matter of fact. And speaking of hamper, I got to do my laundry, which I will do tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so here's the, the sad tale of Edward living alone 
But uh, I'm feeling pretty good now. I might go out and do a little bit more. I may or may not film it, but you'll see the end result. Alright, as you can see, <laughs> this is looking a little sad. Hmm. And I'm curious if it's possible to save this. I'm going to try to clean it up. rain repellent on it. I need to fill that up so I can fill up the fountain. This just came down. So what the real trick is going to be, I had to take these in, they shouldn't work. What the real trick is going to be is this and this over here needs to come out so that I can move this over to, oh, sorry, hope I didn't get motion sickness there. So I can move this over here. And then this, I'm actually going to use out here, over here. And I'll cover it and then bring the tiki's out and set up something on this side. But I got to get the big cabinet over here. Big, of course, only big in relation to a small one. And then fill this guy up, get him working, and then I can start moving the rest of the stuff over. Okay, now you can see this tree behind the lamp. It's got all its branches and everything, and then you can move over here to the one that's half over the fence and that part that's half over the fence all the leaves are gone taken by birds by sunlight by cats by whatever so somehow I gotta try to breathe new life into that poor thing and this guy's gotta come down oh look I think the last storm might have had a little effect on the sign you know, it's been sitting in the sunlight so long that it started to warp and pull off the wall so take this out and put it inside where it's safe right now there is a lot of prep work that needs to be done out on the porch and the thing is this one the first time I made the Adventureland porch I made it from scratch so there was nothing out there that needed to be moved around and modified and what have you when I made the pirates porch I had taken everything down because uh, they were painting the the complex, including the porches. So I had to have everything removed, which was heartbreaking, and a pain in the butt. So when I made the pirate's porch, I was kind of starting from scratch also. This time, I got something already out there, and I have to move it around. And I have a feeling that the progress is going to be a little slower than it usually should be, um, because I have things already set in place. So when I move the cabinet over and start putting the greenery on that and then move it to the other side, it'll start to look more like the Adventureland porch. But what I need to do now is I have to get, I was going to say I have to get some reed, but I don't. I have, a, I have a bunch of reed over in the corner. I have to put that behind the planter, which had the pirate flag up. So I need to put that back there probably first. But... It is 118 degrees today, so I am not doing it now. Hmm. Take that. Um, it may be a while before I get back out there because it's just too hot. So we'll put a little bit of a hold on the Adventureland porch. I am going to move a few things because right now, to people passing by, it looks pretty just nothing there. Uh, so I will do a little bit with it over a little bit of time, but... It might be a while before we actually get out there and start doing more. Chair! Chair with green screen covering it. Chair with green screen covering it and a sweet water sticker. Wait a minute, sweet, no, no, no sweet water stickers. Chair with green screen covering it and a creepy doll on top. Taking a picture 
of a chair with the green screen on top of it and the creepy doll. Picture of chair with green screen on top of it with creepy doll. A moose's nose. What? Picture of creepy doll on proper background. Picture of creepy doll on proper background. Holding Sweetwater sticker. Ye <laughs> Video of creepy doll on proper background on fire. My best friend was alone in the alcove. Does anyone see her Such sweet faces wrapped in the staircase, but smell of her overheating hair. The terrible brings her all that her name and fire she weighs. We did a uh, music video shoot today for Waiting for Waffles. And whereas hanging up the green screen and all that kind of stuff is a bit of a pain, nothing is a bigger pain than these sock boxes. I already took the lights out, but it's like there's three, or actually four pieces to this and the light bulb and there's no quick way to take them down and put them away plus the fact that if I don't put them away for say a 24 hour period or so they occupy the entire front room we don't want that do we no no we don't well, that's going to be it for this episode because it went on for quite a while and didn't really go too many places. Also, there's a monsoon brewing right outside. It's getting ready to go down. It's going to come down hard. You know how I know it's going to come down hard aside from the obvious look of it? It's because I have laundry in the laundry room drying right now. So by the time it's dry and ready to bring back to the homestead, it's going to all over it. I know these things. If I know these things, then why don't I play, plan ahead? Play, plan ahead. Why don't I play, plan, plan? Yeah. Anyway, um, weather's starting to cool down. It's been <laughs> it's been two weeks since uh, I started this video, so the weather's starting to cool down a bit. We may be able to get out onto the Adventureland porch pretty quick. Um, but I have some things planned in mind coming up uh, very, very soon. So uh, hopefully we'll get to that kind of thing as well. By the way, the little video clip in there, the music video clip, was from uh, Waiting for Waffles video of My Little Shirtwaist Fire, which is available on YouTube. Look up Waiting for Waffles on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can see more boring stuff and um, know when new boring stuff is coming. It doesn't cost anything. There's no Patreon page or anything like that because these come out when they come out and not on a regular schedule. All right. Um, the next one should be coming out in two weeks. Hopefully less. You never can tell. But in the meantime, you guys have yourselves a great week or two. End of line.